Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And if you are new here, my name is Hannah. I am a trauma coach who works with Muslim women. I help Muslim women from all over the world heal from complex trauma and reclaim their lives, reinvent themselves. So if that's something you're interested in, go to the links in my description to learn more about my group coaching programs and one-on-one uh, -on -one options. We're on to the second video in the healing trauma series. And this is a mind blower once you learn it, subhanAllah. We often, some of us have heard it, you may have heard it, but people don't really understand what it means. Uh, a long time ago, not a long time ago, actually still till t today, we still have many people practicing with this idea. Uh, people thought that trauma was just in the mind. The trauma just lives in the mind. It's an experience and if we can talk it out and change your thoughts around and change your behavioral patterns and change how you respond, then we can heal your trauma. But as more and more research came out, because these methods weren't working, um, people who had PTSD and complex PTSD, which is the kind of psych a psychiatric condition that comes about after um, an individual is traumatized, were not responding to these methods. Medications weren't working, traditional therapy methods weren't working. And when things are not working in the world of, you know, in the, in the world of the body, we need to do research to figure out why. And so the research came to show us that the nervous system is the prime, you know, uh, system that is affected by trauma and that we have to understand that in order to be able to heal trauma. I talk about that in the first video. If you haven't watched the first video in the series, you need to watch it um, to understand the rest of this. So go for, pause this video, go back to that video, inshallah, um, <clears throat> and then come back to this video. Trauma lives in the body. Trauma stores itself in the body. What the heck does that mean? And what, like... How does that even happen? Well, think about it like this. This is how I explain it to my clients. Because I keep hearing people say this and like trauma, you know, other trauma coaches and trauma practitioners will say this, but they have no way of actually explaining it, which then tells me, do you guys, do they actually fully understand it? And if they don't fully understand it, can they actually help people um, heal? So forgive me for the glare in, in my glasses. Um, trauma stores itself in the body. If trauma affects the nervous system, and dysregulates the nervous system, dysregulate, hold on to that world, word, then your nervous system is connected to every organ, to every muscle fiber, to every hair in your body. Hair as in the, I know hair is dead, but they're, they're, I don't know if you know this, there are muscles attached to each and every single hair. Um, and so what happens when the nervous system gets dysregulated? Well, it signals to the body uh, get dysregulated. And, and as your brain stores these traumatic memories, certain responses, certain nerve uh, nerve impulses also start getting affected. And so we can actually see your nervous system's response to your trauma in your body. Let me give you an example. Let me think of an, um, an example. <clears throat> um, when we first start doing this work, uh, we do a lot of nervous system work with when my, my clients in the trauma group coaching program. And you might be someone who notices tension in your body somewhere. Maybe you get really tight shoulders or, you know, maybe you um, find your low back is really tight. It's easy to see this and think, oh, it's because I'm stressed. I'm probably at the computer all day or maybe you carry things that are heavy um, or yeah, I'm sitting all day and that's why my low back hurts and that's why my shoulders hurt. And it definitely might be a contributing factor. But if you're someone who has trauma and trauma stored in the body, it could actually be that your nervous system is responding to the trauma by sending tightness to your shoulders or to your low back. And how do we know that this is the case? Well, first of all, and I don't, I, I'm not advising you to do this because I don't want, I don't want someone to re-traumatize or trigger themselves. But in the context of the program, one thing I can do with the ladies in the program is we go through, um, in the second, second kind of half of the program, processing certain traumatic memories. And when those bits of memories come up, we can identify exactly where the trauma is stored and do particular methods to release the trauma. Um, and it doesn't involve just, you know, rubbing out your shoulders or stretching out your low back. Um, but actually, when we do the trauma integration methods, the pain just goes away. And it's insane, subhanAllah. It really is insane. Like, I'm saying this and I know it sounds super, um, it sounds super woo-woo and it sounds almost like I'm trying to, like, trick you guys. I promise you, I swear to God, uh, as a Muslim woman, it just goes away. 
Um, and it is a most insane thing. So uh, one, um, one, you know, one one example is I, I have a client I can think of, um, and she holds a lot of her tension in her jaw, and she always noticed that she held her tension in her jaw, but she didn't know, you know, she didn't know what happens if you go to a um, a doctor and say I, I feel like I'm holding so much tension in my jaw it's constantly hurting. They're gonna say, oh, you probably have TMJ. Um, you know, take ibuprofen, um, massage whatever you go to a dentist they'll say oh use a night guard you go to a physical therapist they'll give you certain techniques to massage out your jaw you go to a chiropractor they might adjust your jaw right all of these methods but did anyone ever ask you have you ever experienced any trauma in your past that's storing itself in your jaw no one knows to ask but that's the reality of it so as we did this work she sent me a message and she literally said subhanallah she was like I was asking her, you know, what are things you've been noticing? Because I really try to build up that mind-body connection with my clients because that's the key to healing trauma. If you have that, even after, you know, you're done working um, in the group with me, you're able to continue the work because you now know your body so well and your nervous system responses. So uh, basically, she sent me two messages. She sent me two messages. She said two things have uh, improved. Um, one, my jaw is not tight anymore. She's like, I used to go to sleep and my jaw would be so tight. I would just have pain. I would wake up. It would be so sore. Um, throughout the day, I notice I'm clenching and it's just so tight all the time. And you, you are seeing me like I'm starting to do the nerve, the, the, the jaw release myself. Um, and then she's like, that's one. And then two, my acid reflux has improved. Now that's mind blowing when you think about it. Her stomach is no, she's no longer having uh, acid reflux. And she used to deal with that all the time. And the reason being was that, that was how her body responded to trauma. The trauma was storing in her jaw and it was also leading to an increase in acid uh, reflux. And again, as someone who practices medicine, I can tell you what, if you could come to any traditional you know, medical provider, uh, physician, PA or nurse practitioner, you would get the advice of cut down coffee, avoid spicy food. Um, you know, you can take an antacid over the counter. If it's not working, we'll put you on this medication and no one sits there and asks you, is there trauma? Is there trauma stored in your body? And so we do that work um, knowing that the trauma is stored in our, our body, and then we can release it. And then that also becomes our data. It also becomes our way of testing, did we actually release trauma or not? So now if the, if the tightness starts coming back to her jaw, she can explore um, is there other trauma that needs to be released? Is there, or is there a new experience that's coming up? And so this is a huge, huge piece that is so, so important to know. So, so important to know. I want you to always remember that. And, and trust, subhanAllah, like your body knows what it's doing. And when you're doing the work to heal trauma, if you're doing it in the correct order and not in a way that re-traumatizes you, your, your body is going to release uh, those areas of sore trauma. So it's a really incredible thing to see. That's it for this video. If uh, you enjoyed this video, then hit like, subscribe, and keep an eye out for more of the videos in the series. And if you are interested in working with me as a coach, you can go to the link inshallah in my description to learn more about the work that I do and um, how to apply for the next cohort of my trauma group coaching program. We're always accepting applications. Assalamu alaikum.